cracking you too. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today I'm going to be answering some Q&A. One of the homies is asking which one is better, the Smith machine or the barbell, right? And I'm just going to give you guys my opinion on this, right? Because there's no right answer. Now, you got to look at what the Smith machine is and what the barbell is. Everybody knows the barbell, you've seen it. I'm not going to go into it. We know what the barbell can do. But I don't think a lot of people know what the Smith machine can do, right? See, Here's the thing about the Smith machine. The Smith machine is an awesome tool. You know, everything you use in the, in the gym is a tool, all right? And you the way and how you use a tool will give you either good results or good give you bad results. Let's say if you don't know how to use the tool, right? Now, with that being said, the Smith machine was intended to assist the user in multiple categories, right? It's supposed to assist the, the user in safety, range of motion, and variation types of exercises, right? You can you can do the, the chest press, or you can do the um, the shoulder press, the squat, lunges, all sorts of kind of different things, right? And what here's the thing with the Smith machine. The Smith machine is a very, very safe tool to use, right? You gotta, because you gotta look at it, man. You gotta look at it. Especially for, for beginners who doesn't know how to gauge their strength. Right? For, for people who doesn't know how to gauge their strength, the Smith machine may be beneficial for you. Actually, man, I think it's beneficial for anybody. You just gotta give it a try. But, you gotta look at it. When, when you're on the barbell, right? When you're on the barbell, let's say you don't have a spotter. You take the weight off, you take the weight off, and then you're trying to, lift the weight, right? Let's say you couldn't get your last rep in and you're pushing, you're pushing, and you're like, uh-oh, I'm stuck. And if you can't get the weight up, then you're fucked, right? So, with the uh, Smith machine, let's say you're 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 lifting, right? And you're like, uh-oh, I'm stuck. All you gotta do is just uh, twist your wrist and it locks back in and you can kind of crawl out. Am I not right or wrong? So, it's really good to... Uh, to have a very safe machine to assist you in case you want to go hard, right? Without a spotter, of course. Now, um, let me see what else. The range of motion, the range of motion, right? With the Smith machine, you can get accurate, um, accurate reps. De depend on where you want to push yourself. I mean, if you want to have it closer to your neck, closer to your where, your where your nipples are at or right in dead in between the, the chest you can get always accurate reps because with the uh, barbell you're, sometimes you don't know exactly where the freaking bar is going because you're concentrating on this on on lifting the weight versus you know the safety aspect remember I was talking about safety earlier yeah so with the uh, Smith machine you can get accurate reps depending on where you want to target your uh, or which muscles you want to target, right? Depending on what, on what your goal is for the day, whatever. So with that being said, Smith machine can be very, very beneficial. Depends on how you use it and what you're using it for. And it's good for beginners. It's good for advanced uh, personnel, right? So take it how you want it. I recommend using the Smith machine if you're using it by yourself. You get accurate reps. It's safe. And you don't have to worry about a spotter. So uh, hopefully this answers your question. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto. And I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. 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 Nice.